Right, welcome back to this little scene setup we've got going on Unity, guys. Um, I'm going to wrap it up in this video. It's a three-part tutorial if you guys are interested in uh, following along. Uh, we've created this little scene in Unity. We've added some detail and um, we've used stuff like transparency uh, textures to add some detail to the level while saving overhead in Unity. And we've also made a light cookie to add some shadows in the scene without using uh, well, without using Unity Pro, basically, so and to again save some overhead. So, the first thing I want to do is um, make this texture even darker. The material is, uh, I think, it's standing out a bit too much. I don't want it to stand out in the scene. I just want it to be in the background and just uh, sit in the background <laughs> quietly. So, that is that. Um, another thing, guys, in the previous video, I exported the chest as a um, DAE uh, FBX file by mistake. I've re-imported it now. Um, as an FBX and I haven't scaled it, it's perfect scale. Remember guys in Unity if you want to uh, import from Maya go to your preferences, go to settings and change this to meters things will be a lot bigger. The thing is guys in Unity the scale, the default scale factor is 0 0.01 but um, if you change this uh, and you export stuff from Maya like rigging and bones and animations using that um, things will mess up so keep that in mind and when you're exporting uh, change your units to centimeters so if I want to export this, export selection as an FBX file, go back down to your units and change the units to centimeters and then things will things will look really good in Unity so you won't have to scale things much All right. so anyway in this video I'm just going to make a little key I'm going to just rotate the key, maybe it can be used to open the gate, who knows <laughs> but firstly I'm just going to model the key in Maya so let's move this out of the way and to do this guys I think the best thing to do would be to use a um, a polygon pipe. Let's just drag one out and um, yeah, that do scale it in a bit and uh, thickness. I want to change the thickness to 1.5 because that's a bit thin. And I want to change the subdivision axis to six, just six of them for our key. And again, I want to change the thickness again. Let's change it to two. So I'm just going to extrude a little bit to make our key shape. Press G to repeat repeat the previous command. Uh, G. One, two, three, four. Oh, maybe not. Just make the little key shape. Uh, one more time. So there we go. That's our little key. Uh, I'm just gonna go to a vertex mode actually, and just make things a bit nicer. It's a bit more to scale and uh, just bring things in. I'm just working by eye here. I'm just just uh, estimating. Alright guys, so that's that. It's way too big. I'm just going to scale it down way like that. And um, if I can find it, uh, let's rotate it a bit. 90 degrees. That's how I want it to be in Unity. So That looks alright. It's a bit bigger than the chest, so I'm just going to make it a bit smaller and uh, let's go and export selection let's call it key put it into our project, boom, it's in Unity now um, drag it in see what I mean guys, the scale is perfect in Unity so really good tip if you're using Maya so I'm going to put the key here alright, let's make it a nice if I can select it Let's make a new material for it. Um, let's call it key, for example. Make it a speckler again. Let's make it kind of a silver color. All right, let's drag it on. And the last thing I want to do, guys, is make a little script so we can create a little C sharp script. We're going to use to rotate it. Uh, key behavior. Let's open it in Mono Develop. That's loading up. So yeah, this is. Um, I think I've been working on this for like 20 minutes now, guys. So as you can see, it doesn't take much to uh, build a scene in Unity. So you've got no excuses now. You can build your levels. Um, and Mono Develop's being pretty slow today. Sorry, guys. So I'm just going to make a really simple script to rotate the key. When it loads up. All right. So here we go. Alright guys, uh, Mono Develops finally decided to load up, so let's go on update, update function, close it in, 
uh, this uh, transform uh, rotate, we're going to rotate it um, and we're going to rotate it in its X maybe, I don't know, let's go and fire let's rotate it one zero zero. save it out and, whoop, wrong one, and that's all it's going to do guys all the, all the key is going to do is rotate so uh, let's add the script and um, I don't know where my camera is oh my camera is not in a good position, <laughs> okay um, let's select the camera, let's lock it, it let's lock the inspector so we can see the preview and um, bring it up a little bit, let's bring it up like that rotate it mm. uh, rotate it like that, let's make it a really weird shape so make it look nice alright so that's that okay um, when I play the game it's rotating but it's rotating in the wrong direction <laughs> Uh, I think it's the Y guys, so let's just change that. Oops. Go back to Unity. Maybe not guys, it's the Z. It's the Z. I'm not with it today, sorry. Um, let's go back again. Play again. There we go, so it's rotating in the right direction now. So there we go, that's our little key um, we might want to change the uh, rotation even more, let's make it 2 to speed things up a bit and as you can see there we go, the key's rotating now So, alright guys, so it's not hard to um, make your scenes in Unity, you can bang out levels pretty quickly, like I do it all the time even though you wouldn't guess because I can't tell my X, Y and Z but um, alright, I think this is going to wrap up this little scene now um, I've just applied some of the techniques we've learned in the previous videos and put it all into one video kind of um, so we can move on now and go on to more complex things All right. Um, if you're following my web development stuff I've almost finished the CSS uh, course after that we can go on to making our PHP web pages to sell our own products and make some money alright guys so I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching